Hey everybody, it's Brian here. We're gonna get right into it. This is a Israel update for Lebanon, what's going on in Lebanon. Talked about that this morning in a live uh, feed, which was so much fun. I love talking to you guys. It was so great. Um, anyway, gotta get right into this. There's been issued a warning by several countries to evacuate Lebanon. Now we know this was coming, obviously, but it's, it's amped up quite a bit. Uh, over there, even since we talked this morning. This is on the National, it's called the National, it's a website called the National. Uh, countries urge their citizens to leave Lebanon, fears of war. Uh, Germany and the Netherlands have become the latest countries to call for their citizens to leave Lebanon, amid rising tensions between the Lebanese armed group Iran backed Hezbollah and Israel, rise, raising fears of war. Uh, the European nations joined Canada, North Macedonia, and Kuwait in urging the citizens to leave the country amid further escalations. Germany stated that its citizens are urgently urged to leave Lebanon in an updated travel advisory. The current heightened tensions in the border area with Israel could escalate further at any time, it said. Uh, Germans in Lebanon are urgently asked to leave the country. The situation at the border between Israel and Lebanon is very tense. Uh, this came after the German foreign minister, uh, Ber Berbach, visited Lebanon, during which she warned that any miscalculation could lead to an all-out war between Israel and Hezbollah. Uh, with every rocket fired across the blue line between Lebanon and Israel, the risk increases that a missile, a miscalculation could trigger a hot war. They're already in a hot war. I can tell you right now, it's already a hot war and it's already been triggered. <laughs> They're, they're downplaying it. She's downplaying. It's already triggered. It's it's on. It's going to go. So, I mean, read on here. The Netherlands issued a warning on Wednesday for its citizens to leave Lebanon while commercial flights are still operating. It is unsafe in Lebanon and the situation remains very unpredictable, foreign ministers said. Uh, earlier, Canada, North Macedonia, and Kuwait advised their citizens to leave Lebanon while they can do uh, what they can do to de deteriorating security situations. Other countries have updated their travel advice, warning against all travel to Lebanon, encouraging citizens living there to leave. On Wednesday, the Swiss embassy in Lebanon and Syria, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Syria, Syria is issuing a warning for the people to leave. <laughs> <They're>, <laughs> I'm gonna be quiet. And said that the travel to Lebanon has now become generally uh, uh, inevitable. A significant deterioration of the security and situation in Lebanon can occur at any time, it said. Earlier this month, the U.S. Embassy in Beirut advised its nationals to avoid travel to Lebanon, Israeli border era, the Lebanon-Syria border area, and the refuge set settlements. The U.S. Embassy issued a reminder on Thursday, urging its citizens to strongly reconsider travel to Lebanon. And I would say any American citizen, anybody who's not everybody needs to get out of there i tell you right now i know that i know <laughs> we're in that we're in the eight psalms 83 war and this is part of it if you're over there and you're watching this you need to leave you just need to leave i know what the bible says about what's going to happen to lebanon and to syria and these different countries it's not good you need to get out of there right now if, if i were there and i was in lebanon i'd be leaving and especially u.s citizens if you're watching or listening or watching this or listening to this you, if you get trapped over there, do you think the current administration is going to get you out? These other countries might get their people out. Even Syria might get their own people out. But do you think our current administration will get you out? I wouldn't bet on it. You need to get out. I'm telling you, it's coming. And we're going to hear about it in the next few days, week, however long it's going to be. It might be even after the Olympics is over because Israel has its own athletes over there. They're going to want them back before they do anything. It seems like that would be logical. So I'm just doing a quick video because we can wake up, go to bed tonight, wake up in the morning, and there's an all-out war going on in Lebanon and Iran and Syria and Iraq and Jordan and Saudi Arabia. All those countries I just mentioned were all mentioned in the scriptures about coming against Israel. And we're, I'm, I sound like a mino bird. The rapture is about to happen, guys. The rapture is about to happen. Until it happens, 
We need to be strong, which you guys are. Be in the Word. Be in prayer. Um, you know, the uh, Saturday's coming, Shabbat. It's the Sabbath on Saturday. I know we're not under the law. I get that. But there was a reason God gave us a day of rest. We need, and that goes for me too. We need, we need to have a season of rest, even if it's for a day. Just relax. Be in the Word. And because um, the times we're in right now, unprecedented times in world history right before the tribulation starts it's about to start and it's getting ready the engines of the tribulation are revving up <laughs> they are and it's about to take off but it can't until you as a believer and myself and millions and tens of millions of other believers all around the world are gone and how are we going to be gone the the Lord is going to come in the air and take us in a pre-tribulation rapture to heaven. We are living in the end times. We are in the end times, no doubt. You guys have a great night. You may go to bed tonight, and you may wake up in heaven at the trumpet blast in the sky. We may wake you up tonight and take you to heaven. Wouldn't that be awesome? I'm looking for it, and I know you guys are too. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Spry and out. See you in the clouds. Bye.